Hello Power Users, Bignie Pukowski here and in today's tutorial we will get current logged user info, the full name, the email, the picture, even the department if we would like to and we will use the user365 connector to get any user info based on our selection from the combo box or from the list from whatever you want based on the criteria you want also so stay tuned this will be a two-part tutorial and hope you will enjoy Zbigniew Pukowski and let's start Okay, so I'm in my PowerUp application in the edit mode, the power application I've created earlier. What we want to do is to create a couple of labels, exactly two. Let's get it here. Instead of the text, you can use the function which is called user, open parenthesis, close parenthesis, dot, and after the dot you can get, you can get uh, information uh, of your user. In this tutorial we will need the full name which will just grab my name actually and then we will get also the user email after the dot you will have the email hop I have now all the information I need and also we will insert a picture so we will get a classic image la 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 we will get it here actually I have no image so this will be a rather dull tutorial sorry but if you can see, then there is an image uh, which should be here. And those information you can get on the top layer of your application. For example, here you can go with the hello, Zbigniew Fukowski, whatever. And one thing I, I will show you that you can use a concatenation here. So we can write a hello, comma, space, close the parentheses, and, and use our 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 information we got from the users and in here we can get the image we will make it a little bit smaller hmm. this positioning is a problem come on okay I have to do it manually hmm. maybe 60 here and 15 here and cool let's go to the 80 cool oh it's almost centered you know you have to do it yourself here we will get the same width and height and with the same width and height we can go with the border radius 45 we can go with some kind of the border which will let's say will be black and already you have your picture which will display in all of your screens if you want to, you can go, go to the component and create a comp component from this top layer, so you won't have to recreate this functionality over and over again, but this is uh, for another tutorial. T tutorial For that, this, you already know how to do it on the one screen. And we have the user email. What we can also do is to let's copy the label and let's go with the office 365 users dot and if you don't have it or you can add the data and add the office 365 users here so you can do it here if you it's not already in your app of course you need the access to it and here let's go with user profile hmm, I don't remember version 2 or version 1 let's go with version 2 probably something new we will have to provide the ID so we will go with the user open close and after the dot object ID hop hop let's close the parentheses let's create another dot and here we will go with the department because we want the department as you see it's working but the department is blank for me that's sad but you know you can grab this information here and also use it in your app cool so we have the working user profile let's see if I have anything there actually full name about me city display 
display name. Here is the display name. Okay, so as you can see, some data is there. So you can you can use this data, for example, to grab the manager. Get manager would be about me company name department display name. Is it here? Huh. Cannot find it. Okay, so instead of user profile, we can use also the get. Yeah. Let's see what we have after the dot manager. Oh, that was version two. Up. And again, we will use the user dot close open close dot our ID up dot display name resource not found does not exist in our case it does not exist I guess we have no manager so we can grab it okay but if we cannot grab it you we can also go with the function if error hope this is will be our value and if error then we want the text to display no info oh and if the manager and it, its display name will be found then you will get the display name of the manager so this will conclude this part okay but we have also let's say a combo box I will recreate this functionality to select our our user from this we will get office 365 as a source let me get this out of our way and if we want to create a simple pick people picker we can go with the office 365 users as the data source then we will get the search user then we will open the parentheses and our search term will be what's our combo box our combo box is combo box three right, right now so let's go with the combo box three dot search text if i'm remember yeah we have the search text cool let's close this let's close the parentheses as you can see we have now the table of the users but this is basically kind of useless because we need the display name and we need the search term correctly so the, the fields we will use let's go with the edit fields the primary text of course will be the display name the um, the search field will be the display name cool maybe let's go with the double and let's also add the secondary text as the as the department cool we have it here let's allow multi multiple selection to false let's allow searching to yes cool so let's find Zbigniew Lukowski without department Zbigniew Lukowski is selected and based on this selection we want to recreate functionality which we already did for the user dot uh, sorry the user function so we will grab this guy uh, let's begin with Lukowski, it's combo box three. So let's go with the combo box three dot selected items dot. Let's go with the lookup combo box three selected items condition one equal to one dot. And what we want to do, we want to find this guy, let's say. Mm, CT. Do I have info? Nothing. Company name? Nothing. Oh, my, my actual profile is really... Our oh, ID. I think we will have an ID. Of course, we will have ID because this is for all the the the, the, the users. But you know, you in your situation, you can find the department, which will be probably something which you will need, and there you can recreate this situation, uh, this function to create something else. Let's say the. 
the email. Yeah, the email is there. Okay, cool. So you can, if I change this to, let's say, Diego, I will get the Diego info. Yeah, Diego, I think, has the department. Yeah, Diego is from HR. Okay, so as you can see, we've just created a simple picker. Sorry, I'm maybe too, too fast. In order for this to work and why we are using the lookups, uh, lookup basically will find the first occurrence of your combo box because we have the table. So now we want, uh, if we will get the table, then we cannot separate a record from this, but as you know, we don't have uh, multiple selections, so we have only one record there. So in order to find the first record, we will just use the lookup. We are will be lookuping from this, and the the condition on which we are lookuping is not is not um, the matter of uh, um, of any choice because we have only one record there. So we will just use f a true condition, which will does be true to the first occurrence of, of our combo box, which will be one equal to one. And then we will get the department from this selection. So this is one way you can go. There are also a way to, to limit this table to records, but this will be uh, a little bit more complicated. So I will not, I will not um, do it in this tutorial because this is pretty basic and this is how you can do it as well. And yeah, that's it. I think we have the simple people picker. We have used our user function to get user details. So we, our tutorial is concluded. I hope this was helpful for you. If yes, you can like, sub, etc. I have also 100 other videos about Power Platform, which I think are, are getting better and better each iteration. And you can look at those. You can look at my playlist, etc. It's been Fukowski out. See you next time.